after record opening day turnover and two lots surpassing the best price previously achieved at this sale on day one of the Tattersall's July sale, the second day continued with competitive trade. Having topped the opening session with the sale of Reharm for 540,000 guineas on Wednesday, Shadwell Estates were also responsible for consigning the joint top lot on Thursday, Albashir, who sold for 130,000 guineas. The four-year-old colt by Shamadal boasts some decent performances as a juvenile for former trainer Owen Burrows, including a second-placed effort in the Group 2 Champagne Stakes. He was secured by Tom Biggs of Bland for Bloodstock alongside Andy Taylor's Taylor's Bloodstock and is set to go into training with Archie Watson in a bid to recapture his two-year-old form. Also commanding a session-topping price of 130,000 guineas was the Somerville Lodge consigned Grenoble, who sold to William Johnson Bloodstock and Mark Pilkington Management on behalf of Australian-based Darren Thomas of Seymour Bloodstock. The son of Sayuni was bred and raced by Newsels Park Stud and was brought to the sale having finished second at Epsom last time out, with a profile boasting particular appeal for a future career in Australia. Uh, it was fantastic to purchase this lightly raced three-year-old by Siuni this evening in Newmarket alongside Mark Pilkington for Darren Thomas of Seymour Bloodstock. With a win from seven runs and a rating in the 90s, he comes to Australia with a profile that lends itself to working his way through the grades. With form over 10 furlongs, we've often seen a horse of this uh, profile and calibre come and perform well over distances shorter of that. So I anticipate him to perform well over a mile and ideally step up over uh, to a mile and a half in time. And look forward to seeing him in Australia and seeing him work his way through the lovely prize money on offer that we have down under. Oliver St Lawrence, acting on behalf of Bahrain-based purchaser Fawzi Nas, signed for two of the session's top five lots, including the Highbeck Stables consigned Roller Jam for 120,000 guineas. The three-year-old gelding by Bellardo, out of a half-sister to Italian champion juvenile Lender Hand, won over ten furlongs at Ripon in May for trainer Jed O'Keefe, and bred by Tim and Jill Bostwick of Biddeston Stud, he was well known to the successful purchaser. He's a lovely, a lovely horse, big, strong horse. I've actually known him since he was a foal, because he was bred by Jill and um, Tim Bostwick of Biddeston Stud, and I helped them, so I've known him a long time. Um, but he's turned into a lovely, big, strong horse, and uh, Jed O'Keefe recommended him to us yesterday, and I've done a bit of business with Jed in the past, and I trust what he has to say. He won nicely at Ripon on good to firm ground. He'll go out to Bahrain, and... Um, I'd imagine for that, for the you know the Bahrain series, and um, you know Fazi's training a few in, in in Saudi as well as down in Dubai, so he could go a few directions. But I think Bahrain will be where he starts. Interest from international buyers was strong on the day, with Kuwait-based owner Sheikh Abdullah Al Malik Al Saba securing National Gallery for 110,000 guineas from the Castlebridge consignment. The Joseph O'Brien trained recent Limerick winner was bred by Con Marnane and is a half-brother to former Commonwealth Cup runner-up Forever in Dreams out of a half-sister to a former champion sprinter in Europe and France in Marchand d'Or. Six lots broke the six-figure mark in total on day two with the promise of a star-studded session to round out proceedings at the Tattersall's July sale on Friday.